Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To print a view of a project file, first ensure you are viewing the file in the desired view you want to print. Then click the File tab in the ribbon and select the Print command at the left side of the backstage view. The current printing options appear to the right, followed by a large print preview of the content in the selected view of the project file. You can select the printer to use for the print job from the Printer drop-down. Under the Settings section, click the first drop-down and then choose What to Print from the upper section of the drop-down menu that appears. If available for your selected view, you can choose the Notes, All Sheet Columns, and or the left column of Pages Only Choices in the bottom section of the drop-down menu to toggle those options on and off when printing. If they are checked, they will be applied to the print job. If unchecked, they will not be applied to the print job. If you chose to only print specific pages or only print a specific date range, then enter the pages or date range to print into the next fields in this section. Then choose the page orientation and page size from the last two drop-down menus. You can see a large print preview of the project view appear to the right. In the far lower right corner of the window, you can click the arrows that point up, down, left, and right to scroll through the pages shown. You can click the Actual Size button to display the preview pages at actual print size. You can click the One Page button to display one page at a time in the print preview. You can click the Multiple Pages button to display all of the pages in a multi-page view at once within the print preview window. To apply advanced page setup settings, click the page setup hyperlink at the bottom of the print section to open the page setup dialog box where you can apply advanced page setup features like a legend for your view and a header and a footer. In the page setup dialog box, you can click the page tab to see the page settings. In the orientation section, you can select the desired page orientation. Below that, in the Scaling section, you can select the desired scaling to use when printing the view. You can adjust the page to a percentage of its normal size by choosing the Adjust To option button and then entering the desired percentage into the adjacent spinner box. You can also select the Fit To option button and then enter the number of pages wide by the number of pages tall into the adjacent spinner boxes. In the Other section, you can select the Paper Size from the Paper Size drop-down. You can manually enter the first page number if desired into the first page number field. On the margins tab, you can enter the desired margin increments into the top, left, right, and bottom spinner boxes. You can choose to apply borders around every page, only the outer pages or around no pages by making a selection in the borders around section. You can create a header for your view by clicking the header tab. Headers let you insert additional information at the top of printed pages, like the number of pages in total, for example. At the top of this tab is a preview section that shows the type of content to print in the header based on the selections you made. Below that, select whether to enter the header information into the left, center, or right sides of the page by selecting the tab that corresponds to the name of the section into which you want to enter the header information. You can enter information into each section if desired. Within the desired section, click into the large white text box and type the information to display. You can also insert commonly used fields of information by clicking the buttons shown below the text box. At the far left, you can click the Format Text Font button to open a font dialog box where you can set the font used for the header information. The next buttons, from left to right, will insert fields for the page number, the number of pages, the date, the time, and the file name. The far right button is the Insert Picture button, which you can click to open the Insert Picture dialog box to insert a picture from your computer into the selected header section. Below that, you can choose a field name from the General drop-down and then click the Add button to the right to add the selected general field to the header. You can also select the name of a field within the project file from the Project Fields drop-down and then click the Add button to the right to add the data from that project field to the header. 
You can also add information to the footer of a printed view by clicking the Footer tab. You create a footer in the exact same way that you create a header. However, the information is simply shown at the bottom of the printed pages in the footer versus at the top. To add a legend to a printed view so its readers can interpret the colors and shapes in the view, click the Legend tab. Then decide on which pages to display a legend by making a choice from the Legend On option buttons at the right side of the dialog box. They can appear on every page, a separate legend page, or you can have none. You then enter the width of the legend in inches into the Width Spinner box. To set the font used to display the legend labels, click the Legend Labels button to open a font dialog box where you can choose a font to use. Then click the OK button within the font dialog box to apply it when finished. You can then click the View tab to set any special settings for the specific type of view you are printing. For example, if printing the calendar view, you will see options on the View tab for printing the months and weeks within the view. If printing a Gantt chart view, you will see options regarding the printing of columns. The options shown on this tab will vary depending on the view selected, so you should always check the options available here when printing your view to be sure it prints exactly the way that you want it. When you are finished setting your advanced page setup options for your view within the Page Setup dialog box, Click the OK button to apply them. When you are ready to print the view, enter the number of copies to print into the Copies Spinner in the Print section at the left side of the window, and then click the large Print button to print the selected view. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.